welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a chocolate face mask. And this isn't any old face mask. It's a dark chocolate face mask. And you, uh, mostly everybody's going to have these ingredients at your at home. Um, so you're just going to be needing oatmeal and um, chocolate. And it, make sure that it's dark chocolate. So if you're going to go to the supermarket or the drugstore somewhere, make sure that you get dark chocolate because you will be needing it for this face mask. Um, now I'm just using Hershey's dark, special dark chocolate. You can use any brand, anything. But this is the brand that I'm going to be using. Um, and the reason why I'm using dark chocolate and not milk chocolate is because dark chocolate has that milk chocolate does not have and it's very healthy for your skin, dark chocolate. And it makes your skin very silky and it makes your skin feel so much silkier. And it smells good too. So let's get started on this face mask. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you just want to um, preheat the stove um, to medium, um, low, or to medium. It do doesn't really matter. Um, but medium, low, I start out with because the pan gets very hot and you don't want the chocolate to get burned. Um, and then now what you're going to do, now what we're going to do is we're just going to take some dark chocolate. And we are going to just pour that into the bowl into the pan and then now what you're going to do is you're just going to start mixing this up and it should start to look creamy um, because this is getting very hard Now is the time to turn the heat up to medium um, because once you get the chocolate started melted, you want it to be melted even faster. So I'm just going to turn it up to medium low, even in the middle of those two. So the chocolate is going to get melted up really fast. chunks in the chocolate at all. You just really want them to be um, very smooth and a very silk, silky um, combination and uh, very silky. You don't want it to be lumpy at all. So I'm just going to mix that. Mix this all. Now it's time to turn the heat down to um, in the middle a medium low and low because you don't want it to get burnt because it's already starting to get milk. Um, it's starting to look very creamy. Okay, so now that's silky smooth, um, that kind of sounds like I'm talking about here, but now that it's smooth, now it's just going to take it off of the stove. I'm just going to turn it off. The temperature, and it's still cooking while it's not on. Um, so we're just going to move this over to the next burner so then it doesn't get burnt. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure that no more chunks are left in there. And now what we are going to do is just going to take some oatmeal. And we are going to just take um, a little tiny bit. You don't want too much of the oatmeal because um, by having too much of the oatmeal, it um, makes it more chunky. You want it more soaky. Um, you don't even have to add the oatmeal, but the oatmeal berry um, makes you so face even silkier like at most um, a lot of spas they use oatmeal and they put it on. I'm just going to sprinkle some in there just like that and now I'm just going to mix this all up and now you're going to see chunks of it. <laughs> now you want to make sure this does not get totally hard and you don't want to be burning hot when you put it on your face so let's test it. Okay I think it's at perfect um, room temperature, not totally room temperature, but it's perfect. So we're just going to put this all over our face. I'm just kind of blotting it on. And just take a little bit more. It looks really hilarious, but it looks like you have a face mask on. Um, once you put it all over your face, So now that it's looking like this and your pants are looking like this, like this, that's all that you have to do and then just
go rinse this off and your face is going to feel so smooth, um, so silky. Um, it's going to be so wonderful because it makes your face so more vibrant. Um, and leave it on for about a minute um, before you rinse it off. And any antioxidants, just soak into your skin and then just go rinse it out off and your face is going to feel smooth and so nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that everyone has a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye!